All new at 5, a school bus driver accused of sex crimes involving young girls. Tonight, the Ashtabula area city school bus driver is off the job and facing more than a dozen charges. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty is just back from Ashtabula County. Dan, you actually talked with the family of the suspect. That's rightly I did, and the school system at the center of all of this. Apparently, parents have been complaining about this bus driver for some time. 56-year-old Virgil Murphy has been driving school buses in Ashtabula since 2005, but he's on leave now after being charged with a dozen sex crimes involving young girls. Police say he met two of the victims on his bus, and after talking to them, realized they were distant relatives of his. Police say Murphy then had sexual contact with the two girls and their sister, all of them under 14, here inside his home in Geneva, where today I spoke to his grandson, Brandon. I know my grandpa, man. Every single, like, that was our family members, the one that was being, you know, accusing them. Yeah. And they only, they've only been over here twice themselves, two or three times. And I've been with them every single time. Brandon says Murphy's lawyer told him not to talk. He got his grandfather on the phone briefly, but Murphy wasn't interested in stopping by for an interview. He doesn't really thinks everything's just, you know, every, he's not getting treated fairly. You know, they're automatically accusing him of doing it just because the charges are up. They think he did it. And... You know, it's not necessarily like that. You know, you find a lot of people that, you know, get charged with something and don't mean it's true. This is where Murphy reported to work for the past six years, driving kids to school. Officials say Murphy was given a background check, and his 1995 domestic violence conviction in Painesville didn't keep him from getting the job. And they knew about a domestic violence charge after an incident with a juvenile male family member over the summer that was pleaded down to disorderly conduct. Still, he kept his job. My grandpa's never even shown a sign of nothing like that, let alone actually doing it. He's never even shown a sign towards nothing like that. And I have a letter here from the superintendent that's going out to the community. And in it, it says that he wants to assure all the parents that there are cameras on the buses and in the schools and that they're monitored constantly. He also wants to stress that Murphy was suspended two weeks before these charges even emerged because of all of the calls coming in from worried parents. They wouldn't give us any specifics on what those calls were about. Reporting live tonight, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5.